Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Thea 2, The Shattering. We are in episode 2, finally. That uh, first episode was wordy, I will admit. But uh, we are here and we're going to start getting into the meat of the game. Getting into the crux there of the game. And uh, we're going to go ahead and end our very first turn. Last episode we did set ourselves up to go ahead and pick some delicious delicious fruit five a day best season for gathering spring and summer good to know um can't do anything else so yeah we'll just go ahead and end our turn let's see what happens possibly uh this guy might come and join us and there he is so as tradition has it your god sent me to guide your first steps on this new and bewildering land let's get started um you have to, yeah, uh, cook some food, right? It will be done. Okay, well, we'll skip the tutorial. He just says you can gather stuff and then you can cook. So, he wants us to go ahead and uh, actually cook things for him. Will it tell me? No, I don't want factions and loyalty. Monsters are hostile to us. Good to know. Good to know. Where? The logbook. He wants us to cook. Doesn't say how much, but we did cook 36 things previously. Um, we can actually go ahead and take a look into this now. Boom. And we used up almost all of our meat. <laughs> so we're not actually going to be cooking anything anymore right now. But we are also just going to go ahead and pick up. We, we did get 10 more berries, which is great. You can see now in our inventory. Gained a little bit of berries. We got a tiny bit of meat left. We did make a whole bunch of the roulotta, which we would prefer to eat because it, I think, I don't know if it lasts longer, but it makes you happy. It does make you happy. So, we're going to break our camp. We're going to go in and see what's going on over here. The ruins we're about to search have an unsettling stench of decay. We could scout the area first or search the ruins carefully. Let's go ahead and scout. You observe the quiet remains of a once great city and soon realize that among the fog walk the unliving in their breath is toxic, excluding toxic cloud. Ooh. We can use the element of surprise and attack. We can sneak past them to loot the ruins, which is like a special kind of check. Now, this is not a combat per se, though it does play out in the same way. Um, just like this one it's not a combat so using our magical weaponry doesn't actually help this is more of a mental challenge right are we clever enough to devise a tactical plan and uh, it's really interesting how it plays out um i think i'm just going to go ahead and use the element of surprise uh, and attack i don't know if this is uh, our best idea uh, we can't get an idea of how things yeah victory with injuries if we auto resolve it we can usually do better than the auto-resolve. And we are up against two of skeletons. Well, let's go and get into combat. Combat plays out turn-based. And um, in a kind of pretty interesting way. You have your cards here, right? These are our people. They all have different um, abilities, different base uh, attacks, different weapons. So we can say uh, Honeyslav here, for example. You can see he's got 12 base damage. And a delay. Now, delay is who gets to go first. You can completely wipe out somebody before they even get to act. If you have a quicker delay than them, and uh, you get to just kill them before they get to move. So it's a very, very powerful strategy. And actually, if you recall, our god's ability is every time a character is played, our existing characters have their delay lowered something interesting to consider um everyone also has depending on their weapons special abilities so you can see we have our basic attack here but it is a t-splash so this targets one closest enemies and up to three enemies standing right next to them that means if there's an enemy here we can hit someone there there and there in addition to our main target this one just single closest melee however Regular damage, it also increases the affected target's delay. So you can mess with delay here. You can also see it only has a 7.9, right? Not our base, it's actually a little bit faster because it's just a straight up headbutt. Just boom, much quicker than our, our big mace uh, or our weapon over here. We have our children, of course. 
children uh, tend to, you know, have pretty low base damage, but they also have some interesting abilities from time to time, like Ghostly Axe for some reason. This kid has uh, true damage, dealing extra damage if the target has armor. So this is armor, this is health. We would deal 150%. Still only three. Um, I thought it was if it had no armor. Curious, not entirely sure. It's also ranged, so you can attack somebody uh, kind of not necessarily uh, in front of them. You can also be in the back row, which you don't get to choose, right? You can place your people and defend the back row with your front people taking the damage, depending on the attacks. We also have Kalina here. Kalina just has her normal brute force. This is like that basic attack that I was talking about. She has very little damage. However, she can absorb five. Something to note, right? We can use her as kind of a meat shield. Bronia over here, also with just your basic brute force attack. Nothing really interesting here. Um, we do have Carnelian, the scavenger. What can he do? So he's got brute force. We can just do our basic attack. However, he can also summon a boar. Interesting things about boars, they act very, very, very quickly. In fact, they act at zero. Also, they absorb attacks. So this guy is located here. He's going to try and attack whoever's in front of him. If there's nobody there, he'll just attack whoever's next. Now, if I place somebody here, like a boar that I don't care about, they can absorb that blow. And, uh, you know, my own people don't have to worry about it. Now, each combat has two rounds. or There's there's multiple rounds of combat. And then that has two actions. So he will actually get to attack twice. Something to bear in mind when you do use these kind of body blockers, which we're not going to use. Also, the later you play people, and the more you play, like, I can actually play him every time, but his delay is going to go up significantly. So something to bear in mind. Last but not least, we have somebody here. They have a weapon attack. Um, I believe it's targeted. Okay, not bad. Now, what we can do, we can plop her down, and she's got very, very high armor. Very, very high armor. We can have her just be here and take that hit. No problem. We will, we will have her just take that hit. He's going to hit for six. He's going to do stuns. So she's going to make him a little bit slower. We don't really care. We're already way behind him. And we can take those two hits. We can take those two hits from him. He's going to deal six damage and six. So we'll lose one hit point if he gets to go twice. What we'd like to do is kill him beforehand. So what I'm going to also do... You can see here, actually, one more bit. Each round, you get a certain amount of extra like points uh, to spend, and people just take longer to act. This is how much is added. As well as using them multiple times just adds uh, to it, uh, to their delay. You can see we've got one left over, one action point. Well, we can use him. It's his first time. Oh, no, that's right. The delay doesn't go up, but how many action points is required? We're going to put him here, and we're going to have him swing with his giant axe. So even if they place somebody here, he's going to mess whoever is up in this area. I hope they do place someone there. Now we're going to go and end our turn. We're out of action points. They now get two action points. Things go a little bit slower. He did something crazy. Oh, that's our ability, right? We got to go a tiny bit faster because they moved them first. This guy's got a bit more armor, less health, and less damage. So I know he's also getting slower. Now, they have two characters in their fight. There's one, and there's two. We know that there are two because they have these different stats here. But they're going to end up playing the same ones over and over again. They can have this one guy in four different spots. But if you kill one of them, they all disappear. Something to definitely bear in mind as we go forward. Now, I can go ahead and just plop my boar down over here. Boop. But I don't think I'm going to do that. We want to do that kind of at the end. Because he's going to have zero... Uh, he's just going to go so fast, so it doesn't matter. Um, what we can do... Is probably have our child in the back. Deal enough damage to kill? Probably not. You deal quite a bit more. We'll put you back here. And we even have another movement. Now, we're going to get three more total points as time goes on, right? We don't have a lot of people that can really deal a lot of damage. 
Um, so I think I will just put this kid in the back. Just keep them protected. All right, we are going to take some damage, some health damage, which isn't the worst thing. Everybody gets to go a little bit further, faster. It's not much. It's not much. Um, what I want to do as well, I think, I mean, I want to spread the damage out. So we are going to put you probably... Hmm. You're not going to take any damage where you currently stand. Whereas you, if you actually go here, he's going to go after this guy now. But they're going to put more guys down and his delay is going to go from 16.2 to less than 16 probably. So we're going to take the one hit and then he's going to bash the crap out of these guys. So let's go ahead and end our turn. And then like being able to understand this turn order and how everything works is very, 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 very important. Last but not least, we can just put a boar down over here. Yeah, I don't know why you let me do that. We're gonna we're gonna summon our boar over there. He is gonna go first. He's got ten hit points. He's got a charge attack, so he goes vertically through. A little bit of damage. Mostly he's there to get punched multiple times, so this guy does not. Now let's go ahead and see what happens. It's gonna go in the delay order, and everyone's just gonna do what they got to do. Part one of two. Boar goes first. Whap. They're both going to lose their armor. He's going to go first now, as expected, with the stun, making her a little bit slower. He's going to go first as well, hurting both of them. We can now target who we want to actually hit. And I, I mean, I think... I think we want to make sure we kill this guy. He's going to do a ton of damage to him. But we want to really try and kill him. Again, they both lose it. Um, yeah, just, just go after this guy. He does do 50 more 50 percent more damage, right? Now you can see we hit with the splash there. They're next to each other. They're the same character, and our splash gave us 50% more damage on the one. Which is just great. Now you're gonna hit for 12. Absolutely wrecking him. And part two. Again, he's going to have the best movement. Well, okay. Actually, our boar is going to get to go first. And we'll kill him. Which is great. Everything went fine. We lost a little bit of life. We've gained physical blessing. Extra health and extra movement points just because of uh, the fight that we were in, for whatever reason. Everyone kind of gains them. Some people even gain mental blessings. Why not? It's only for a very short amount, right? I believe it's, it's just two turns. But we take that. So, not only did that happen, right? We found ourselves a sandstone stored and, and a bone. We also picked up a bunch of clay. A steel shield, which is quite awesome. Um, probably. I do quite like the shields. I mean, they just give you both passively increased uh, shielding, so increased armor. But also the ability to just put your shield up. And give you a little bit of extra shielding, which can be quite useful at times. It's only physical shielding. We also gain a little bit of research points and a little bit of experience points. Blah da da. Done. Beautiful. So, what are we gonna do now? Well, we just we're, the whole point of the early game is to just explore. We want to kind of just go out here and see what is going on. We've used up all of our movement points. It's a shame that we're kind of stuck with no uh, gathering to be had. What we want to do is we want to just kind of keep going out and looking for food. There's more Malachite. There's some Elven Wood. Nimble yet resilient Elven Wood. is a valued resource throughout the lands. All right, and again, these are all unlocked. What we want to do is we kind of want to like go and like find a couple of really good locations that have preferably food and two other resources. Um, then we spend our points on these upgraded resources our research points and then we just kind of post up there for a while we gather a whole bunch of stuff and then we craft a whole bunch of stuff that is that is the uh that is the target that is our early goal find a really good location to kind of hunker down for a while spend our points and then uh just you know help make ourselves stronger we did uh 
can just press E. We did gain some stuff here. Um, like a sandstone sword. Sword. Now, Hunislav here. I actually prefer swords over the mallets. I believe mallets do more damage. They do 1.5, and this only does 1.1. But it gives you 15%. 15.9% increased shielding passively. Also one-handed. This also gives you the why, why? What is it? I don't actually know what the Oh, okay. Yes. It is uh dual wielding, so this is definitely the more aggressive choice for Hunislav. Right? This gives us quite a bit less damage, only 8 instead of the 12. But look how much faster that is. 3.5 in parentheses, 6.7. I don't actually know <laughs> the difference there. We did go at an 11.2 before. So I'm guessing that is where our actual uh, ability is. Possibly modified by our wits. It does look like that is true. Adding about 3. It's so much faster. It's, oh no, it's uh, the delay here, adding about 3.2, right? Wits, getting this up reduces your delay. That's right. Does you strength again, which for Hunislav is, you know, kind of his primary attribute. Does increase the shielding and would actually allow him to use uh, the steel shield, which I'm quite keen on. Yeah, let's let's do it. I like, th I like going quicker more than uh, dealing all the damage, honestly. Um, we can give it to Bronia. Can she even wield it? It does allow her to just deal some kind of physical damage. It's actually not the weakest, so she's actually fairly, fairly close in strength. So this is a, a pretty good pickup for her. Uh, great, nice. We've got the sandstone stored. Second time I've said stored. I don't know. It's because this. I'm saying sandstone, sandstone sword and steel shield. Sandstone sword, steel shield. Right. We also picked up some loots here. We got ourselves some clay. That's sweet clay. Now, if we were camping, which I'm not gonna do. Uh, actually, I am because it lets you heal. Now, I don't think we can. I mean. We can probably just cook a little bit of food. No, yeah, we do have enough meat for it. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll cook what we can. Way just blow it out. Great. Go ahead and cook with some more roulotta. Fortunately, it's all we can do. Hopefully, we can find uh, some other stuff pretty soon. We're gonna need to get off this little island, and then we'll be able to like kind of see a little bit more out there. We can go ahead and end the turn. Not nothing much to do. We're gonna cook a little bit. Camping allows you to heal, right? This is primarily the reason why I did it. We did make 12 more roulotta there. And uh, we're going to break camp. And we're going to just try and uh, get out of here. Unfortunately, again, we have not reached a location where we can actually do anything. And I, we can't even cook. Um, are my people fully healed? This is the question. Yes. All right, well, we won't even camp. Let's just end our turn. Now, next turn when we camp, we can potentially stop where there's wood and there's some iron. Maybe we want to go ahead and do that. Um, we can only go here. Great. Well, we will. Even more Malachite. This island does seem to be very Malachite heavy. Um, elven wood is a pretty good thing to find, right? But unfortunately, we, we can't any food nearby so I mean this this could be a decent place to stay here if we upgraded that but no I think not we have moved as much as we could and what we can now do yeah we're gonna of course we're gonna camp again we want to gather some stuff we want to gather up some iron I'm going to gather up some wood as much as we can now you can see here our spread, we're getting 131. It's going to take three turns to collect one grouping of this. Just one grouping. It's not great. So while we're here... Wait a second. Didn't I have somebody who was better at gathering? What has happened to you? Oh, apparently. 
I thought we were up to like 112 for that. Maybe now it's crafting that we're so good at. So what we want to do, if we're going to stay here for a few turns, we want to take a look at this crafting tool. Unfortunately, we don't have enough for that. How about the gathering tool? We don't want to like half make them, right? Do we? The dark wood we can drop in here. And the amber. What about normal wood? One point six. The dark wood breaks us out. See how much better this tier two wood is? Like it just jumps way up there. What about here? It's actually the same. Because a three point two to increase gathering, but then we're not gonna have any wood, which is not super good. So, all right, well, we can actually, we can do some pretty powerful things here. We can do Gatherer's Aid, Increased Gathering, Forager's Aid, 130% Increased Gathering. Good for somebody who's really good. As well as Scavenger's Aid, Increased Gathering, Group Carry Multiplier, can just carry stuff more, and Increased Rituals. The question is, do we want to try and go for just Increased Gathering here? Hmm, I mean, we're gonna use our dark wood right off the bat. That's that's tricky. That's tricky, but I mean, being able to gather an increased speed is very, very, very useful to help us get off the ground early on. Hmm. 130%. Oh. This actually tells us our best gatherer. It's 31. 130% will give us a lot more gathering than uh, the baseline, right? But at the same time, we can use it to make our worst gatherers better. No, we want to make our best gatherer as good as possible. And I think I am going to go for that. Now, at the same time, getting this up. Oh, we can do that when we gather up a bunch of steel. I think we will go for the gathering tool early on now i do find myself often capped by the crafting let's go and see pretty solid spread in crafting there 118 61 31 and then everyone else is bad whereas you are just yeah not uh, we're much better at crafting than we are at gathering so we will i think at least look at how long it takes. Don't think it's going to matter here. Oh yeah, it does. You want more of the primary. I don't even know if I can make it because I don't have enough. It says it requires 11. But I don't have enough here. So Forger's Aid... Confirm. No, we don't. We don't have it, so it doesn't. It doesn't matter so much. Um. So I think we're just gonna have to sit here and just. No, it's probably not even worth it for us to actually stay and gather. Um. Without food nearby. Well, yeah. A couple of turns and we can gain the wood and we can gain the iron to actually be able to do some interesting things. But I suspect right now we just pick up that. And we just progress on. We'll just get some more wood. And we'll carry on. Next episode, we're going to keep on looking, right? I'm not, I'm not convinced with these spots. They don't have things that are that great for us to combine early on. So I think we are just going to kind of keep moving, gathering what we can while we uh, when we stop. Like, for example, getting the wood and uh, getting food are just great things if you can happen by them. Lots of forests here does make things go rather slowly. We're going to move towards this uh, event and see what's going on. So hope you guys stick around for that. Until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.